All right, now that you know how to hold the bow and the violin, we're gonna try putting the two together. So I would suggest that you first of all, put your violin up. See if you can do this with one hand. The best way to do that is to hold your violin solidly over here on the bow. Okay, I get a good grip and make sure that my button is going in my neck. Bring my head around, I'm over top of my shoulder, slide this hand back. Then I'm going to use one hand to get my bow hold already. Sometimes I do this by taking the bow and sticking it in my tummy where I have a little bit of grip. All right, once we have a perfect bow hold, you want to take the bow and place it on the strings. Now, this is the, the wrong place to put our bow. This is over the fingerboard. So if you see your bow there, you need to pick it up and move it. The middle is a good place to start for an aim. However, the best spot is actually just a little bit to the bridge side of the middle. When I say the middle, I'm talking about the space between the fingerboard and the bridge. Okay, if this is the center of that space, I wanna place my bow just a little further towards the bridge, like this. Okay, if it's too close to the bridge, your bow will also make a terrible sound. So it's very picky, but it has to be exactly here to make the best sound, okay? So once you're all set up, you need to think about playing with an open arm. So as you can see, I'm gonna open from my elbow. This is the hinge. This part of my arm stays relatively still and my shoulder is relaxed. I would like to try playing some long notes with you. So why don't we start off on the A string, which is the second string over. Our strings are named E, A, D, and G. We will mostly play on the A string and the E string. Today we're going to start by playing long notes on the A string. Place your bow on the sweet spot and you want to keep it in line like railway tracks so that this bridge is one side of the railway track and that your bow stick is the other side and that they're always the same distance apart so that your bow is not going crooked this way or that way, and that your bow is not sliding out over the fingerboard, but instead it stays perfectly straight. Try with me. Ready, go. than it looks. So why don't you practice that four or five times before you go on to the next lesson. <laughs> 